Hi, this is Elaine Starling. I'm doing my daily video a little bit late today because I'm on vacation in Whitefish, Montana and having a blast with my friend Gail. Well, one of the questions that I was asking during my stroke when I believe I had a conversation with a higher power, I wanted to understand what does it take to really have successful relationships? How can you forge strong bonds with other people? And the answer came back to me that there are three key components to having a successful relationship. The first one is you need to have a mutual goal. All too often, especially when you're talking about uh, chatting, having a conversation with a family member, there's such a need to feel like you're strong, you're in power, you're in control, and you want to feel heard, you want to feel validated, you want to feel like um, you're an important person, especially if you're trying to impress your parents, for example. And so you tend to come from this space of, I need to be the smartest person in the room, or I really need to impress this person. And that, unfortunately, if everybody is trying to feel like they're the most important person in the room, there can be a lot of conflict there. Victoria, welcome. I'm so glad you could join in on my, uh, on my live video. Anyway, so the first key thing is you need to have a shared goal. And it really helps if you have a shared goal of trying to make each other feel really good about who you are and how you're showing up. Because all too often, there are things that you feel maybe you're not living up to. And so if you make an effort to build each other up and celebrate each other, that's a really, really great mutual goal to have. Now the second component to successful relationships is to have mutual respect. You may not be interested in whatever it is that they're doing. Maybe, maybe they're uh, working on writing a book and you have no interest in writing a book. That's okay. If you can respect that this is something that's really important to them, you have no interest in doing that, but you understand that it's something that's really important to them and you can celebrate them living up to their goals. That's what it's all about. Mutual respect and appreciating the fact that having different skills is actually really advantageous to you. Think about it. You don't wanna to have to do absolutely everything in your life all by yourself. It really, really helps when you can have multiple people who have different skill sets and you all band together to be more successful. So whenever you have mutual respect and a mutual goal, you can get a whole lot further ahead. Now the third component is there has to be mutual commitment to take action. I've had friends where I would make a real effort to stay in touch. They never did anything. You know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, make an effort to write when I would write. And sure, they'd take the phone call, but then they'd never call me. Well, if that's going to happen, you can't maintain that relationship. There has to be mutual reciprocity. And if you're in a business environment, it's kind of like the divide and conquer thing. You can't have somebody just sitting on their hands letting you do all the work. You have to have everybody who's on the team contributing to the outcome. So the three key components to successful relationships, first of all, a mutual goal, something that both of you are committed to. Secondly, mutual respect. And thirdly, there has to be a mutual commitment to take action. When those three things are present, you can have a very successful relationship. I'll share more with you tomorrow from Glacier National Park.